good Lord Jonathan, Nasir Air Rofai, a pair of good or bad. In recent times, the social media space has been awash with postulations of possible pair of men and women that could rekindle the hope of Nigerians as per the Nigeria Project. If it were possible, the late nationalist Awulowo Azikwe Ambelo would have been woken from their graves to come and right the wrongs that Buhari's leadership has done to our nation. The fact is, Nigeria has been deteriorating. Buhari just came to complete the job. <laughs> our desperate quest for a better and greater country is now at any price. The monumental damage done to our country from 1966 to 1999 by the military was skillfully managed by intellectuals appointed to serve the nation from across the country without consideration for tribes in the PDP years. Just be the best and you had the job. This was the principle under Obasanjo, which Yaradua inherited and passed down to Jonathan. This brought great minds and hands on board. The best were needed and it didn't matter who was recommending who. The late Prof. Dora Akinyuli was recommended by Buhari to serve Obasanjo. Atiku pulled Air Rofa into the dragnet. Ezekwe Sudi Soludo and Sanusu did their bits. Also, Akiwomi and Okondro Iweala, who have proved to be among the best of minds on the planet today, not minding our political sentiments to drag them down. This, however, doesn't excuse our kleptomaniac experience in the PDP years, but the presence of looters, which whose but the presence of looters was balanced by those of creators of wealth. This gave some comforting equilibrium in economic performance. Even at that, damage was not as obvious as it was under Buhari, as it is under Buhari, which is grossly due to increased kleptomaniac activities and absence of wealth creators. In 2015, rounds of APC change mantra rented the air. It was only natural for people to be desirous about the content of their hype for an experience to buy into what has become the biggest era of propaganda in human history. Fight against corruption and Boko Haram were cardinal in our, in our expectation. Buhari was branded and marketed for the job, but not without intelligent demarketing of PDP. True. Particularly Jonathan in such a humanizing manner that his poor old mother wept she must be she must have been taken she must have been too traumatized to vote in 2015 it's however appalling that anybody in apc will wake up with the dream of a quarter opportunity to be given to jonah mumu the clueless phd holder whose certificates are not worth buhari's nepa bill but where are buhari's certificates that is the real question Someone here said the pairing of Jonathan with Air Rofai did not come to me as a surprise. It must have been informed by the generosity to let go of power to the South for as short as possible. It's true to keep the people quiet for a little bit and then they go back to their kleptomaniac activities as this man says. The possibility of Jonathan's return to power is possibly for a foregone conclusion based on the recent amendments made to the constitution by the Ninth Assembly led by Lawan and Bajabia Amila which may make it impossible for Atiku Abubakar to vie for prejudice in 2023, except he bags a first degree before then. Let's leave the interpretation of amendments to lawyers. I'm just going to go straight to the comments here. And somebody says here, just give us Tinubu and Erufai, let the country rest in peace. Honestly, no, it's not going to happen, okay? I'm predicting this is my own personal opinion, but 2023, no one is gonna, there's not gonna be an election. We are going to drag this thing because, again, these people are so old, they are older than the country, they have been manipulative, they have not proven to be consistent. So, even if, let's say, magically, the Nigerian public want to, you know, put these old men into power, we're gonna drop a contract, yeah? If, these things were giving you a time limit for you to do certain things. If you don't do it, what are we going to do to you? Because you're here to serve us, not the other way around. So yes, it's not a free market. It's not a free economy. It's it's not that. Uh-uh. We decided. We vote and we put people in power. 
So the fact is, we will drag that 2023 election because these people who have been in PDCP and APC, whether they're going to recycle their names or recycle new parties, but the same people, we will know and we will fish them out. But yeah, I just, personally for me, these people that have been there before, they are not going to smell any bit of power again. Someone says there's something ominous behind the silent. As a Hebrew cannot eat without an Egyptian, so they shall bring out good luck, a Billy Jonathan in deception. Exactly. Before one year, they will cook one bitter fault and shame against him to frustrate and humiliate him again, then continue with their power tussle. Please, go good luck, a Billy Jonathan. Maintain your respect, integrity, and regards the whole world has on you. You are still, it's still the same people that are there. True, again. The same people are leading this and we expect a different outcome. The same people are there using the same tactics again and again and again. And they, and they seem to win when it comes to corruption and, you know, oppression of people. But if we think that we have to put the same people there, they will repeat the same mistake they have made before. And we expect that we will just have a magically non-corrupt government. We are incredibly childish and unrealistic. Someone say if good luck deceive, is deceived into doing that, error fire rules and good luck dies. Absolutely. Absolutely. Someone here says, Doctor, good luck, please keep off. Dangerous arrangements. Don't think of going back to Asso Rock, otherwise you will devalue yourself. Exactly. The people who were who, who literally came and bat <laughs> they literally came, they were protesting against you. They literally played you. And then you think these people they turned their backs any minute. People decamp from APC to PDP. They're just literally one party. And one aim is to destroy the country and to promote corruption. It just is what it is. And it's be continuing like that. Someone says, oh, God, Jonathan, please don't come out for presidency. That's literally all the comments here. They're telling him, good luck, just run away. This is not for you. This is a much bigger fight because you can't think you can go into a small, tight-knit group of people who have one ideology. And you think that your difference will just magically change everyone else and corruption will just stop. It's very childish. Very unrealistic. Eesh. That if he if good luck honestly my personal opinion is if good luck goes back he really hasn't learned his lesson that's it someone says good luck Jonathan land us okay I don't know what this person saying someone says Jonathan should never agree to such a wicked plan since he can only rule for four years and hand over to the north again these people are power mongers beside him I don't see him joining a PC the fact is those people that have been in power before they will not be in power in twenty twenty three. In fact, my opinion is there will be no election. If anybody with no sense is going to go into power, uh-uh. We are, we are changing the rules. They mess with the wrong generation. We're not going to take no sense. Put what you think in the comment section below. And do not forget to like and subscribe.